In this video, I'll show you how to add a product gallery slider for WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a similar setup to this particular product page. As you can see, with this particular product, it's sliding through all the different images that we've got associated with this particular product. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to AOVUp.com. Go ahead and download the additional variation images plugin by AOVUp. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the AOV up additional variation images plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this Wii Suite menu here. Navigate to activate to activate your license key. Once you've done so, it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section here and then from here we can just go ahead and make sure we enable where it says additional variation images okay and now we'll go ahead and configure our product slider so we'll just click manage and we won't change every single settings we'll just change the relevant ones for this particular video so the first one that you might want to change is where it says thumbnail items so you can choose the number of thumbnails within the product gallery okay so i'm going to leave it as default which is four the thumbnail gap again i'm going to set this to five for the gallery width which is this section here so this will vary depending on your theme you might want to tweak it slightly okay i've got mine set to 40 percent in some cases um, you might want to change it to maybe 50 percent 60 percent and so on it depends on your page layout okay so just go ahead and test this variable if it doesn't look quite right on your particular site but that's it for now and i'm going to head over to where it says configuration and then I'm just going to make sure I enable this where it says gallery autoplay. Again, this is optional. You don't have to enable this option. So if you left it disabled then the customer will still be able to flick through. But if you want it to auto slide through the different images, then you can enable this option here. We can change the play speed, right? And this is done in milliseconds. For example, here it says 3000 will be three seconds. So you can go ahead and tweak it as needed. Okay. And then finally, we can configure these options here. We can also change the thumbnail position. So currently we're displaying it on the bottom. We can also change it to the left or right. I'm going to set this to the left and then I'm just going to hit save changes. Okay, so with our settings change, the next step is just to go ahead and make sure we've got a few gallery images for our product slider. So I'm going to head over to this product page here. And then in your case, you'll just go ahead and add additional images to the products where you want this feature to work. OK, so I'm going to edit this product and then I'll navigate to variations. This is that mint variation, which are displayed in the demo. OK, and to add additional images. So, for example, for this brown variation, we can just click where it says add gallery images here. And then we can either upload an image or we can just select from the ones we've already got in our store, right? I will just insert it. I'm going to change the main image as well here. I'm going to change it to this one. We'll just hit update. And now we'll go ahead and view this particular product. OK, so if we click on this brown variation here, we can see our gallery images um, displaying in this thumbnail here on the left. And it's just scrolling through the different images. So if the customer wanted as well, they can flick through or it can just leave it to autoplay. And that's a quick and simple way to incorporate a product slider on your WooCommerce store. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.